Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest update preview. Buckle up, this one's going to be huge. After all, it's not every day that we announce a brand new champion rarity. Say hello to mythical champions. As they're the next step up from legendary, we've gone all out to make mythical champions feel truly special. So what exactly makes them so next level? In a nutshell, mythical champions are essentially two champions in one. They can change between two forms through an exciting new mechanic we're calling Metamorph. Each form will have a different set of skills, and sometimes they'll change a champion's type entirely. Let's check out how these warriors of myth look in battle. Allow me to introduce you to my mythical friend, Sigfrund the Nephilim. Sigfrund may look like your standard paragon of the Sacred Order, but wait, he hides a dark secret. When all of Sigfrun's allies die, his metamorph skill activates, transforming him into a flaming angel of vengeance. Check it out, even his shield is angry. It's not just Sigfrun's appearance that's changed. All of his skills are different now, too. His first, or base form, focuses entirely on cracking skulls and dealing damage. Now that he's transformed into a second, or alternate form, he's a healer who can revive his fallen friends and get them back in the fight. So, there's a very quick demonstration of the metamorph mechanic, the signature feature of mythical champions. Now, let's really get into the nuts and bolts of how they work, how to make the most out of them, and how to get them. We'll start with that last and most important point, how to get a mythical champion. Presenting Primal Shards These new, angry-looking red shards will be your main way to summon mythical champions, but you can also get rares, epics, and legendaries of all affinities except Void from them too. At launch, there won't be any Mythical Void champions, but we'll be sure to let you know when that changes and how you can add them to your collection. Primal Shards can also be formed by collecting Primal Quartz. Collect 100 of this mythical substance and you can create a Primal Shard. Both Primal Shards and Quartz can be earned from certain events or other in-game activities, so get hunting! So I've got a Mythical Champion, how do I power them up? Good news, they work exactly the same as any other champion. Fight in battles, send them to the sparring pit, use XP brews or food champions to gain experience, and use affinity potions to ascend them. Easy! They also come fresh out of the shard at rank 6, so no rank 5 chickens needed. Speaking of upgrades, time to talk skills. You'll need mythical tomes to develop their skills, and keep in mind that you'll need to upgrade each form skills separately. But before you start panicking, Fully upgrading all skills across both forms will require about the same amount of tomes as if you were upgrading a legendary champion. If you have a preference for one form over the other, consider using your tomes to focus on that form's skills first. For example, if you want our good buddy Siegfried primarily as a healer, use your tomes on his alternate form skills first. While you'll need to think about which skills you want to upgrade first, gear and masteries will remain the same across both forms. Find the perfect balance for both or dedicate all your resources into one form, the choice is yours. As for empowering, that works exactly the same, but you can't unbind mythical champions. When it comes to awakening, it's business as normal. Blessings will remain the same across both forms. The mythical champions will get extra stat bonuses from them. Since there will only be a few mythical champions at launch, you won't be able to add them to the wishlist at the Altar of Souls. For now, anyway. That's the broad strokes covered, let's jump back to the metamorph mechanic for a closer look. We've already seen that each mythical champion will have two forms they can switch between. Here's the kicker. The way each mythical champion's metamorph skill works can differ. Remember Siegfried, our friendly neighborhood flaming angel? His base form's metamorph skill works like a passive and will only activate when all of his allies die. However, in his alternate form, Siegfried can activate his metamorph skill like any other active skill, turning him back into his base form at the touch of a button. In general, most mythical champions will have metamorph as a standard active skill, meaning they can change forms whenever they want, cooldown willing of course. Whenever a mythical champion uses their metamorph skill, they'll get an extra turn and all of their skills will have their cooldowns reset, except for the metamorph skill. Metamorph skills also can't be affected by masteries, artifacts, or anything else that might increase or decrease cooldowns. A couple more things to keep in mind for switching forms. Unless stated otherwise, you'll keep all buffs and debuffs when changing from one form to the other. Same goes for HP. You keep the same HP percentage across both forms, even if the max HP is different. However, shield buffs won't change the value. A 10k shield buff in base form will still be a 10k shield buff in alternate form. 
And finally, as the name suggests, mythical champions will always start a battle in their base form. With mythical champions, we're adding a whole new level of utility that players can use to their advantage. While they're very versatile, you'll need to think really carefully about which gear, masteries, and blessings suit your playstyle and team composition. We can't wait to see how these mythical champions shake up Raid. Be sure to keep an eye on the release notes and check the news to see which events and activities will have Primal Shards or Primal Quartz as rewards. We're also planning a major new feature that will have a mythical champion as a reward, but I think you've had enough for today. And that's pretty much everything there is to know about mythical champions. But it wouldn't be an update preview without a champion teaser, so here's a sneak peek at the first batch of mythical champions. Man, they look so cool. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the official Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel to stay up to date.